Hello, in this problem we're given a system of inequalities and we're being asked to graph the solution to the system. We're going to go through this very, very carefully. So one way to do this is to just do one at a time. So first let's start with a top piece. So x plus y less than or equal to p. So what I like to do is you first want to graph the equalities. First, you want to graph the equality. So in this case, that would be x plus y equals 3. That's the first step. You want to graph this. So let's go ahead and do our graph over here. So here's the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. I'll go ahead and label them x and y, and put the little arrows here. And to graph this, you can do it a couple ways. Uh, you can just plug in numbers. Let's go ahead and do that. So for example, when x is 0, you put a 0 here for x, you're just going to get y equals 3 because the x will go away. So y equals 3. That's one of our points. When x is 0, y is 3. So we're right here. 1, 2, 3. Right 0 and up 3. And there's our first dot. Also, uh, let's do when y is 0. So when y is 0, well, the y goes away, so x is 3. These are the intercepts. It's just an easy way to graph a line just by finding the intercepts. When y is 0, x is 3. Here we go. Hopefully my graph turns out okay. Now, here's the cool part. Because we have an equal to, see how it's less than or equal to? We have a solid line. If instead you had like a less than or a greater than, you would have a dotted line. Okay, so really important. Uh, but because we have an equal to part in our inequality, Going to be a solid line. So I'm going to attempt to draw this line. It's very difficult to draw straight lines. Let me do a better job than that. A little bit better. And there we go. All right. So decent. Um, you know, if you're doing this on paper, you can use a ruler or something uh, to make it a little bit easier. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, do the other line. So x minus y less than or equal to five. So step two. I'm going to go ahead and switch colors here. Let's go to Go back to yellow. So now we're going to graph x minus y. And again, you want to graph the equality, so equals 5. And same thing, let's, let's, let's set x equal to 0. In that case, the 0, uh, x goes away. So we get negative y equals 5. We end up with this. So y is negative 5. So our first ordered pair is 0 comma negative 5, or in other words, when x is 0, y is negative 5. I'm going to do this just to separate it. So when x is 0, y is negative 5, so that's down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll put a dot there. Let's go ahead and find another point. Uh, how about when y is 0? Well, when y is 0, uh, the y goes away, so we get x equals 5. So when y is 0, x is 5, so we go up 0 and write 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put a dot here. And I'll just go ahead and use blue since I'm already using blue. And again, because the inequality has an equal to part, that's, you want to use a solid line. If instead we had this, then you would use a dotted line. So, and these take a long time, and it's hard to graph. I mean, you can see my graph is, you know, it's not great. The lines aren't perfect. You don't have to be perfect. This is pretty good though because we've identified all the intercepts so no one can really look at your problem and say oh you know your graph is you know weak or wrong you've labeled the intercepts which is pretty you know it makes it a lot more precise than just labeling other points in my opinion okay so now we have to do the shading so in order to do the shading we should pick test points and there's there's other ways of doing this by the way i, I thought of another way once i started the problem but let's just go through this method because this method will you know always work we need to pick test points so um, let's pick a test point. The easiest point we can pick is 0, 0. So let's go ahead and test our first inequality. Someone's going to put test. We're testing our first inequality. I'm going to switch color here. I'm going to go to orange. And we're going to test 0, 0. So what you do is you plug in 0 and 0 up here in your inequality. So you get 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 3. So 0 is less than or equal to 3. Yes, that's true. Right? Yes. Yes, that's really good. So because we pick 0, 0 from here, and we're testing the first inequality, which is represented, well, the line for the first inequality is represented by this, by this purple line. 
or magneta, I believe, or magenta maybe. It's true. We're going to shade down here. So I'm going to shade down here in, in orange because it's true. So because it's true where we pick the test point, that's where we shade. If it was false, for example, if it was zero uh, less than negative two, which is false, then you would shade in the other region. So you shade wherever it is true. Like if, if you pick the point from somewhere and it's true, you shade there. Otherwise, you shade in the other spot. Let's, let's test the other piece. I'm going to use a different color. Let's go to green. And again, let's test 0, 0. So now we're going to test the other inequality. So it goes here on the bottom. So 0 minus 0 less than or equal to 5. So 0 less than or equal to 5. Yes, that's true. Right, that's true. So we plugged in 0, 0 here. And this was our test point right here, right, 0, 0. And we're testing um, the inequality that's partially represented by this line, right? The line represents the equality that corresponds to this inequality. So because we're, we're working with this one here, and it's true, we're going to shade up here. Okay, so now we just shade up here. Okay, if it was false, we would shade down here. So we're almost done. So before I show you the answer, let's just recap. You first graph the equalities, okay? Super easy. Then you pick test points. If it's true uh, where you pick the point, like you plug it in, if it's true, you shade that area. If it's not true, you shade the other area. So in this last example, we picked this test point for this line here, which corresponds to this inequality. And so we shade here. If it was not true, we'd shade down here, okay? And the answer is where the shading intersects. So I need to find like some super ultra color to finish off the problem. I'm running out. Oh, let's go, let's go with red. Red is a nice color. So the answer is going to be where the shading intersects. It's going to be this red blob, uh, which looks like spaghetti. <laughs> so, so that would be the answer. That would be the, the, the solution set. We've sketched the solution set to this uh, system of inequalities. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.